Graham Hill sponsors IFL TV. I am the man to beat Daniel Dubois. We're going to sleep. Just pick that back up with Paulie. Yeah, carry yeah, on. You know, guys like uh, Luis Ortiz deserve a shot. Guys like Dillian White deserve a shot. Guys like Kubrat Pulov deserve a shot. So if the big names don't get in the ring with each other, you hope that, uh, you know, some of these other guys who are right there at least get the shot. So I don't have a problem with Wilder and Ortiz fighting. Paulie, just back on the offers, um, we know DeZone obviously offered a huge deal to Deontay Wilder. What did he tell you about that, if you did speak to him about that? Showtime came close to matching it. So okay. when it comes close to matching it, or it's close enough, um, you have a, a situation where your loyalty is going to go with the people that haven't paying you to begin with, you know? So, so it's uh, a show, a Showtime. I don't think, I don't know, I don't know the ins and outs that they matched it exactly, but I heard it was a close, they, ma they matched it closely, so they, they came close to matching it. So. You know, he's going to stay with the network that are the people that, um, you know, kind of brought through, brought his career forward to that point, you know. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, in terms of Joshua Ruiz, do you think there's added pressure on Anthony after Deontay uh, obviously obliterated Dominic Rizzo in one round? Do you think there's added pressure on Anthony to perform? I just better? think there's pressure on all these guys in general every time they fight to look good, you know. Uh, I think Joshua and Wilder, you know, they, they, put, they put the pressure on themselves. They're, they're very much perfectionists. The funny thing about Tyson Fury is I don't think he cares. You know, he doesn't even <laughs> care how he looks until he fights these big names and then he gives them all problems, you know? Like, if you look at Tyson Fury fighting, every time he fights a lesser name, he doesn't look that good, you know? But, so yeah. people start to sleep on him and people start to write him off. And then he fights a big name and he gives them all kinds of problems and even beats them, you know? So, so I, think, I think Joshua and Wilder, I, saw, I think they feel the pressure more because they, they wanna, they're more perfectionists and they want to look so good. I, I find it like almost amusing how Tyson just you know kind of just comes how he wants to, and then but then you get a big fight and he'll, he's he's a problem to be dealt with, you know. Uh, everybody's approach is different, I guess, but I, I do feel that Joshua uh, will feel a little bit of the pressure coming off Wilder's first round knockout. Mm -hmm. and, and Tyson Tyson Fury should as well, but again, I mean, I really just don't don't see him caring. <laughs> no one knows what goes in the mind <laughs> of Tyson Fury. Uh, stylistically, how do you think Joshua Ruiz will play out? Um, I think it'll be a good fight. It, it may not last that long, but I think it'll be a good fight. Ruiz comes to fight. And Ruiz is a proud guy, and he throws combinations fast, sharp, good body punches. It's just you know you're a shorter guy. You got to get inside on Joshua. You got to come to his wheelhouse. You got to go. You got to get deal with his uppercut and whatnot. So it's not an easy fight for Ruiz to handle. But he is quality, and I, and I think uh, however it goes, it'll it'll be a fun fight. Paulie, I'm sure you've been asked this many times today. Uh, just told me to me about the press conference with Artem Lobov and uh, obviously the infamous spit. Um, yeah, volatile presser. I mean, I, I warn people, you know, I warn, tell, you know, I, 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 won't, I won't do something without warning you first, you know? So I, both times when he got slapped and when he got spit on, I, I warned him first, you know? Um, I didn't get to warn him with the microphone because he got up and came at me, so I had to just do what I had to do, you know? Um, um, I don't think people understand that we don't box when we're not in the ring you know and I don't come from a life where I boxed my whole life I boxed when I started to become a teenager and before that I had a lot of issues getting into street fights and getting expelled from school because of things like that and I wasn't a big I wasn't a big guy so I ended up getting into more fights than maybe more people you know so mm. so I'm not <laughs> I'm not the type that is going to play by the rules if you're going to come at me in that way so you know I think the misconception of boxers fighting MMA fighters is you know uh, if it's a street fight they do this, they, they, you know, the MA fighter has the advantage. Bro, with me, you never have the advantage. I'll always make sure you don't have the advantage, okay? You're not going to have the advantage with me. So, so one way or another, you're going to look stupid. And I think Artem, every time he's tried to get my face, has ended up looking stupid. But he'll look the stupidest on June 22nd when I pummel him. Now, I have to admit, in terms of combat sports, I only watch boxing. I've never seen a bare knuckle fight. From what people say, they say it's very brutal. Um, is that is that a true reflection of what combat uh, honestly, bare knuckle fighting is? It's not it's not that brutal. Only if you saw Adam Lobov's last fight, it was brutal because he sucks. You know, like you know, okay, that was brutal. But if you watch any other bare knuckle fight, they're not always as brutal. You know, a lot of them are pretty tactical, pretty technical. You know, um, and less uh, less brutal than even some boxing matches that are made. Oh, really? Us, you know, some fights though, yeah, they can get brutal, of course. But you know, the brutality also comes with a lack of talent, lack of skills, and you know. Uh, Lobov's last fight, as exciting as it was, was a pitiful display of skill for both guys, you know, and unfortunately for them, it, it meant that they shed a lot of blood, and, 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 but really, that was, that was pitiful. So you think you're going to expose them on skill? 
He sucks, bro. This is not even a difficult fight. This might be the easiest fight of my career since maybe like my pro debut. I have no doubt about it. Like I'm not even in the slightest worried or, or care even. You know, like I'm training, sure, I'm getting in shape, of course. You know, having a good time in camp, but this is going to be very easy for me. And, and I, I, I know, and, and it's not, there's not even a doubt in my mind having seen him fight, how easy it's going to be for me. Are you going to enjoy uh, beating him up? Yeah, if it lasts. I mean, if it doesn't last, I'm not going to get to enjoy it, you know? I hope it lasts so that I can enjoy it, you know? I, I, need, I, need, I need to pummel them all over the place to, to really enjoy it, you know? So we'll see. People are going to bring up the name Conor McGregor because was they thinking of even getting into this side of the combat world to get eventually a fight with Conor? Are you not thinking about that? I think everybody likes to think that because they like to assume their own thing. I got into this because they pay me well. They're paying me very well, so I got into this because they're paying me well. Whether Conor McGregor was involved or not, it wouldn't make a difference. The number they hit when they decided to pay me for this fight would have made me fight him anyway. You know what I'm saying? So, so if, if Conor McGregor is the reason I'm getting paid well because of the beef with him, then so be it. But I, I really, you know, at this point, I think it's up to really the media to, to understand the reasoning why Conor McGregor is not involved in any of this and not fighting, you know, not fighting me. Because if you watch the sparring session, you'd know why he's not, why he's not gonna fight me ever, ever in his life, you know? And, if, and you know, it's one thing to take Arlen's word for it or McGregor's word for it, but after two years that it's been being talked about, even by them, I think it's up to the media to really say, come on, what really happened? And they're going to tell you, oh, we killed him. He, 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 he didn't even know where he was. And, and you say, okay, but well, what really happened? Right? And they're going to tell you, no, no, he didn't know where he was. We, you know, he probably dropped, he got dropped and everything. And then you're probably going to have to say, come be a real reporter. And you're going to have to say, you got your ass kicked, didn't you? Come on. We know you, all right, after two years, you still haven't shown it. You got your ass kicked, come on. And like, you know, because a real reporter at this point would tell him that. A real reporter would be like, even tell Arlen, like, come on, boy. You, we know your boy got his ass At this point, we know your boy got his ass kicked, come on. Or he would have shown Has us. Has no come. one put it on him? Uh, no, they all suck dick. What do you want me to tell you? <laughs> reporters aren't reporters, you know. What do you do? You just come up to people and fucking <laughs> kiss ass. You know what I mean? You don't ask any tough questions. So, what, what, you, want to, you want me to do it for you? I've already done it for you. The guy don't show the video. <laughs> I know the paycheck would be much different for a Conor McGregor fight compared to an Arsene awesome Lover fight. What, what would give you more satisfaction? Beating Arsene awesome or Conor? Um... I think more satisfaction is just beating up any of them, you know, like, honestly, like, I don't have a, I don't really have a, a warm place on my heart for any of that, I mean, those guys, because they were all involved, you know, there's anybody that was involved with that, you know, and Connor obviously is the, is the, is the rings, ringleader of the whole lie, because this was basically all a lie, this all started from a lie. Um, I don't know, anybody that, that tr projects the lie, I have no problem beating up him and getting satisfaction, I really, I will, like, I'll beat up. I'll beat up Artem, I'll beat up their mothers, I'll beat up the, you know, the, the, I'll beat up uh, uh, um, the, the coaches, I'll beat up, you know, like, I'll, 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 so much beat up, I'll, I'll spit on any of them, really, not so much beat up, but I really, I'd spit on any of them, like, I don't, I don't really have, like, I don't know, like, there's not really any, any respect left, you know, like, you know, there's, once you cross a certain line, like, I don't really feel like the need to give any respect or care, or care to respect, that's why I've, I've thought, I haven't thought twice about throwing slaps or spitting or hitting with microphones, it's, we're past the point of any respect, so whatever comes to my mind, I just do it. Okay. Or say it. Paulie, just the last one, it's on Amir Khan. There's reports coming out today that he's been offered $7 million uh, to fight, I think it's an MMA fighter in Saudi Arabia. I'm not sure it would be an MMA fighter or a boxing fight. Just your reaction why, to that. Why would they want to offer him, why wouldn't they just pay him to box? Why would they offer him to do an MMA fight? Who's the opponent? I'm not, <laughs> you know Michael Benson on Twitter, have you seen yeah. him? Yeah, yeah, he put it out. I'm, I'm not sure the exact details, but he's offering $7 million. Yeah, I mean, it's a great payday, but I mean, I don't understand why anybody would want to offer him that much to do an MMA fight, mm. you know, unless they want to see him get hurt. I mean, uh, I don't know. I, I, I find that offer weird, unless the actual offer is for the guy he's fighting and Amir is just the opponent, you know? No, I'm mean, not sure about that. Because no, no. that's what I'm saying, like, why would you offer, if you're, if you're going to make Amir the star of the show, then why would you offer him to fight in MMA? Why wouldn't you just offer him to fight in boxing? Mm. Doesn't make sense to me. Uh, another one on Amir, have you seen Virgil comments, uh, Virgil Hunter's comments on him lately? About that he doesn't, he doesn't live the life outside of training camp, he works very hard, etc. And I'm not sure whether they're going to carry on their relationship. Would you think Amir should stay with Virgil? What's your opinion? Do you think you should look it's up elsewhere? to them, man. They, they have to settle that between themselves, you know? Yeah, whether yeah. Amir wants to fight again or whether Amir wants to stay with the same coach or not. That's, you know, that's, that's, that's a personal decision. Would you like to see Amir box again? Do you think he still has something to offer? 
personally, I wouldn't. You know, uh, he struck me in the Crawford fight as a guy who didn't want it anymore. You know, so when you get to that point in your career where you don't want to dig down the way you used to, because we know Amir used to yeah, dig yeah. down a lot, but there comes a point where you're comfortable and you know you just have trouble digging down the way you used to. I think at that point, you know, you probably should start considering hanging it up because any fight can bring you to that point again. Any fight can take you to the point where you can struggle or any fight can take you to the point where you're suffering and then you have to ask yourself those questions of whether you want to continue, you know? I, once you find yourself not wanting to continue in fights where you probably could or should have continued, then you probably, you're probably better off not, not continuing because, because not, not continuing with your career because Amir has done very good things in his career and, you know, you don't want to see that, um, you know, tainted, so to speak, you know? Mm. You box him here, right? Box him right in this room, yeah. Yes. yeah. yeah. The Hula Theater. Yeah. Anyway, it's Paulie Malinaji. Uh, appreciate your time on IFL TV. Enjoy right. the rest of Fight Week, and we'll catch your words soon. Yeah, we'll see you soon. William Hill sponsors IFL TV. I am the man to beat Daniel Dubois. You're going to sleep.